The topic for today is vasovagal syncope and how are you going to manage this medical emergency. First is what do you mean by vasovagal syncope? So it is derived from a Greek word which means syncope. So syn means together and coptin is strike off or cut off. So it is the loss of consciousness as a result of temporary decrease of the blood flow which is supplying the brain. So if it is caused by certain triggers like fear intense emotion so that is termed as vasovagal or reflex syncope now what are the causes of syncope so it can be psychogenic or non psychogenic if there is anxiety fear stress so all that can lead to vasovagal syncope in non psychogenic if the patient is sitting or standing erect from a longer time hunger exhaustion then if the climate is too hot male gender all that can lead to syncope now what is the pathophysiology of vasovagal syncope so anxiety will cause release of catecholamines due to which there is peripheral pulling of the blood towards the extremities so because of that compensatory mechanism come into picture and it causes increased heart rate rapid breathing sweating and the first sign that is pallor decompensation occurs because of which there is reduced cerebral blood flow and reduced blood pressure leading to syncope now what are the signs and symptoms of vasovagal syncope so patient will always have a prodrome that means before actually going into syncope patient will have various signs and symptoms that is pre syncope so first sign it will be pallor there can be various other signs like dizziness feeling of warm tachycardia and then the patient will go into syncope and last will be about the post syncope signs and symptoms now what are the dental consideration that you need to have so first is always prevention is better than cure so avoid potential triggers proper air condition should be there to avoid hot and humid climate ask patient to not skip meals then positioning is very important and anxiety control protocol should be follow pre medication should be given to the patient so as to reduce anxiety hypnotics can be given sedatives can be given next is about the appointment so the patient should be scheduled in the morning minimize the waiting time and the length of the treatment sedatives should be considered during surgeries and post like operative follow up should be there now last is the main thing that is the management of the syncope so as soon as you see the signs and symptoms of pre syncope dental procedure should be terminated and first you are going to assess the consciousness so in syncope they will have lack of response to the sensory stimulation after that you need to activate the dental office emergency and the first and the most important thing is placement of the patient in trendelenburg burst position that is supine with legs elevated so this will help to increase the return of the blood towards the brain from the periphery failure to place the patient in this position will result in permanent damage or even death next protocol is about the basic life support which is needed so that will be circulation airway breathing patent airway it is ensured and head tilt chin lift procedure can have successful like establishment of the patent airway and carotid pulse should be like assess for the circulation next protocol is about the definite care so in this you need to administer oxygen monitor all the vital signs additional procedure should be you should loosen the tight clothes use respiratory stimulants like aromatic ammonia if bradycardia persists then anticholinergics like atropine should be given and administration of sugar in the form of juice or soft drink is helpful in the case of hypoglycemia now there can be delayed recovery or post syncope so patient has regained consciousness so after recovery patient do not go any dental treatment and postpone the treatment that is post syncope but now if the patient does not regain consciousness even after all these steps so different cause can be considered like stroke and medical emergency services are activated that is delayed recovery and lastly always determine the cause of the syncope to avoid any further episode so that was all about it thank you so much